Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. I'm very excited to share a famous Turkish breakfast dish that has only three ingredients from the Black Sea region Trabzon city, Kuymak. Kuymak is a simple dish made with butter, cornmeal and kolot or string cheese that are all local ingredients from the Black Sea region. It's very easy to make and after preparing a Turkish breakfast and tea, you just dig into the warm, buttery, oozing taste of kuymak with a piece of bread and enjoy. So let's get started. The ingredients are very simple, only three, I'm not counting the water and salt. I have two tablespoons butter, two heaped tablespoons cornmeal, and about 120 grams kolot cheese. Well, the kolot cheese is a special type of cheese from Black Sea region from Trabzon and it creates that stretchy result at the end. We also use string cheese for it. You can try any type of uh, kaşar cheese that uh, oozes when it melts and just experiment. After I melt the butter in a medium sized pan, I add a 2 heaped tablespoon corn cornmeal. I'm going to saute the cornmeal for about 4 minutes until I have nice smell coming out, nutty smell. It browns a little bit. All the ingredients in this recipe are famous in a uh, Black Sea region. They grow corn and have nice uh, cornmeal. They also produce very good quality butter and cheeses. While my uh, cornmeal browns, I just cut the colored cheese in small sizes. Actually, I could have uh, grated I just didn't do it here, prefer the traditional way. And meanwhile, make sure you check and stir the uh, butter and cornmeal frequently, not to burn it. So it's been about uh, three, four minutes. I see nice golden color on my uh, cornmeal and I add one cup of water. I'm gonna uh, stir from time to time and continue to cook. It will thicken after a time as you can see and I will continue to cook until it's like a, a, in pudding consistency and uh, bubbles. Adding some salt and I will uh, cook for about three more minutes. Kuymak has to be uh, served right from the stove top to the table. So all of my ingredients, my breakfast, my tea is ready. My uh, breads are toasting on the back. And the cornmeal mixture is thickened again. I'm ready to add my cheese. As I said, it is better if you uh, chop it a little bit more finely or you can grate it. Just stirring until it melts on a low medium heat. And after it melts, it will begin to come together with the cornmeal puree and become a kuymak. You might not get the uh, oozing texture because of the uh, cheese type, but I still recommend you to try the recipe, experiment with different cheeses because it's really uh, simple and delicious and it will be with different cheeses too, I think. Now it's the show time. Let's see how much it's gonna ooze. 
You may usually see these frames on social media with the Uzun Göl Trabzon view behind. Although there is no substitute for the natural beauty of Uzun Göl, I think I can imitate the landscape a little with the small pond in Istanbul where I live. What do you think? Give thumbs up if you think so. And this is how you traditionally eat it. Just dig in with a piece of bread. So give it a try and let me know how it turned out. Share your photos with me from my Instagram account Turkish Food and Travel. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Afiyet olsun.